Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has providence written all over it. Soda's, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Mr. Reaper, as part of the service... You're at Gamma. Your personal room has been outfitted with a radio frequency. Come Back in the day. 47. I have intel about that bandaged patient. Well, this is quite fascinating. The bandaged patient is Jason Portman, former CEO of Quantum Leap. According to my intel, he has undergone full facial reconstruction and is scheduled for bandage removal today. It's awesome, right? I mean, shut up, don't I look like uh, Hush or uh, the Invisible Man? Uh, maybe, maybe Dark Man. Yeah, shut up, totally Dark Man. <laughs> you look like the mummy. So what kind of work did you get? Nose bridge, cleft chin? Can you keep a secret? Shut up. I'm being cut to look like Helmut Kruger. Yeah. Helmut Kruger? The model? Yeah, yeah, the one and only. I mean, you know, the resemblance was always there. People always used to tell me, I mean, you know that. They, they would tell me, hey, you look just like Helmut Kruger, and I'm like, shut up. But here I am, just sort of fulfilling a prophecy, I guess. I'm about to go meet my surgeon for a checkup, and I cannot wait to see what I look like underneath. But you're Jason Portman. The new face of Silicon Valley, Modem, called you the golden brain. Your stock is soaring. How will people react if you suddenly look like someone else? Shut up, you'll see. <laughs> Once the bandages come off, it's almost time.
Mr. Jason Portman. Please come to the hospital entrance. A doctor will escort you to your checkup. Ah, oh, Mr. Portman. Perfect timing. Mr. Follow me to the Jason consultation Portman. room, if you please. You must be A eager to see the new... You to your appointment. Excuse me, you're please making me very... Please proceed to the hospital entrance. Gentlemen, Mr. Portman is with me. What's up? No need to bother him with unnecessary security measures. So, facial surgery? Tends to heal pretty quickly. But I understand yours was quite extensive. Don't worry, though. We've got the best facilities here. You'll get those bandages off in no time at all. We've got a new yoga instructor here, JB. Boy, he can stretch like a rubber band. Never seen anything quite like it. If you're feeling sore and the meds aren't doing it for you, you should really go see him. I hope you're holding up all right. I read the latest test results that Kai published on the internal network. You're in good shape, Mr. Portman. Might want... Please, just go away. Must be good to get out a little, stretch those legs. I do love the options available here at Gama, but I imagine it can get tedious to lie in bed all day. If you haven't been to the gym yet, you should really go. Hi. surgeon is in here. He should be ready for your checkup. Have a nice day. Smart way to get inside, 47. Well done. Hey, so you're the curator's research aide, right? Let me guess. You want to know about the medical trial? Oh, so it is true. The guys had a mood-altering neurochip implanted in his brain. So, so how does it work? Uh, does it work? Sorry, you're just gonna have to wait for my research paper. I'm following the trial closely, and with a little luck, it'll be the basis for my doctorate. All I can say is that I've got a very interesting bit of insight into his mental state. Fine, fine. I'll just have to ask you again when we're drunk. Mm. Well, let's not get bogged down. We're saving the life.
for another time. We'll talk again. I think I saw you working through the night a few days ago. This is my dream job. To be here as a student is a lifelong fantasy come true. I, I, I will do everything I can to excel every single day. To think of the things we can achieve here. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Remember to keep the simple things in focus. Don't let the poisonous cloud so doubt in them. It's what? Poetry to that, I think. Oh my! This space! Oh no, here it comes, the old poisonous cloud bank rolling in, oh, what's that sound? It's like a, oh, no, 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 it's like a gentle humming in the back of my head, of an electrical current running down my spine, tingling in my fingers, my senses are peaking, oh, I have to go see my babies! Excuse. That is the right-sided donor heart I, I, destined for sodas. This is what he sold out the ICA for. Come back later. Bringing joy to the world now, 47. Well, let's see where this takes him, shall we?
solution for it is there. The soda's on the operating table. And no hope of getting a second right-sided heart in time, you have effectively killed him without laying a hand on him. This should be a clear message to anyone considering following in his footsteps. That's a little harsh, isn't it? A total ban? I don't know. Patient did die. Famous one at that. Still, it's not the chef's fault. What was a kitchen apprentice thinking, cutting out a fugu fish by himself unsupervised? I mean, it takes years of practice. Didn't the kid realize how poisonous those things are? Uh, yeah, he's a kid. I well, probably wanted to show off, I don't know. But anyway, the hospital administration probably thought it was better to just ban serving fugu altogether. Poor chef. That was his best party trick. Now what do we do with the last week? Uh, throw it out, I guess. <laughs> it's a damn shame, too. The chef had to refuse serving Yuki Yamazaki his signature dish. I mean, despite uh, her constant requests. She asked about it just an hour ago. It's really too bad. Well, it's not worth losing the job over, that's for sure. <laughs> Clearly about to explode. But I can't fathom. Guess what? I found out from you know what? Hi, Chef. I'm going to book a new appointment with a room. Yeah, the kick's all right. Food's decent.
sorry about that. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Long time no see. Right out of here. You got any tricks like that? Oh, I do yoga. Now he walks on, he won't give any lessons. Met him in the washing area earlier. He refused to train me. Wow. That sounds like yoga. She dropped her fags off the lift, crossing the gorge. Pressure. In a place like this. Good luck. Uh. So the client's a trial lawyer? Criminal defense. enough security. Maybe you can this big trial. Yeah, that's not gonna work, my friend. Can't let you through. 
That is Yuki Yamazaki, former lawyer to the Yakuza and current operative for Providence. Yeah, I know, it's silly, but I can't let you through here. Sorry. I second that emotion. Means get out of here. I mean, look at the... Yamazaki, that bad karma, bad karma, man, this is terrible. Huh. I really can't bother with this right now. Please! <laughs> hey, stop, stop! Crowded and too little heat. Pampered weaklings with their delicate skin. No, I'll pass. Maybe later. Miss Yamazaki, I believe you booked time for a yoga lesson? Yes. To be honest, I was beginning to wonder if you're ever going to show. I'm glad you're here. If you will just follow me. Ah, uh, step back, sir. It's for your own good. Done, 47. Now to make her spirit and body fly. I'm ready to begin. Miss Yamasaki. Very well. Please respect my personal space. It's among the most basic rules of social behavior, moron. Listen. Ooh. Ooh. 
That's both targets down. Time to find an exit. We're done here. That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation. Not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs. Killing our operatives. And making the ICA look like fools. I think you... got close to that someone. Closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you... to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment but he's gone now ah well if you believe the questions died with him we have nothing further to discuss if not as I said I think we could help each other partners then Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We... <laughs> we are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Burnwood, we won a long time ago. This... <laughs> this is maintenance. <laughs> 